We were the first ones in Australia to go environmentally friendly. Hundred percent uh, recycled paper, vegetable based and soya based inks. So all our chemicals and everything gets picked up and is recycled. When I was quite young, I used to go to the mountains uh, to a dairy farm. They had a very good permaculture based veggie garden and an orchard. As kids, it was great to be able to just go out and, and you know, grab some fresh fruit off the tree or some vegetables from the garden and be able to eat them without you know, having to wash them. So that was probably the, the point where I thought, if you leave nature alone, it'll fix the problems and uh, it'll get back to a, a good balance. About 1983, we started as a a, a general printer. We were using solvents to, uh, to clean the machines. Some of the paper ends up in the landfill. The ink leaches out of it, ends up in the groundwater. And you keep pumping poisons of, of any sort into the system. It's only a matter of 10 years or 500 years. The atmosphere's got to fill up with poison, the ground's got to fill up with poison, the water will be contaminated. I've now got three grandchildren and uh, if pollution keeps increasing, well, I guess it's, it's got to impact on them negatively in, in some way. A couple of us put our heads together and tried to come up with a way that not put our health at, at risk. It was a challenge to see just where we could eliminate chemicals and still produce high quality work. With our inks, if it ends up in landfill, they don't leave any harmful residue. They're all soya based. The cliche was when they first came out that you could spread it on bread and eat it. But I wouldn't go that far. Nature heals pretty well. Gradually, if young kids are educated well enough and schools are teaching permaculture and creating little garden beds, eventually it may improve everybody's health, the health of the world. <laughs>